Hey guys, Kevin Krebs here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Sin City effect, also known as the Pleasantville effect, on Adobe Photoshop CS4. So, let's see what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we got a picture of good old Led Zepp here, and today we're going to be uh, making it so only one part of the image is colored and the rest is black and white, like BAM, right there. Or we're going to invert that and make sure that the... Uh, the background has color and one part doesn't have color like that so let's start here start a new project let's uh, name it Led Zepp and I'm gonna drag and drop my image that I got off the interwebs here oh first first delete that if you already have one because it'll just recognize it as the same thing Okay, so we got our image here. This is in pretty high resolution, and it's uh, pretty. It's obviously better to do higher resolution pictures, but you know, it'll work anyway. So, what we're first going to do is we're going to go down to this half black, half white circle down here, and we're going to click on it and go to gradient map. And what that's going to do is make it kind of black and white. And what you want to do is click on the gradient here, and click on the third from the left box that says black and white and click OK and check dither just because you know okay so we got that got that going for us and we have a second layer here just for our black and white as you can see so if we ever screw up horribly we can go right back to what we had before so wh what you want to do now is switch to your brush tool be on the keyboard obviously and you want to make sure that you have the the two colors down here black and white and make sure that black is your four color and your white is your background if you're gonna only be coloring one part of the image here first so I'm gonna zoom in here into Jimmy Page over here and we're gonna select our brush tool and make sure that the color the four color is on black like I said and what you wanna start doing is just coloring it in and what that's gonna do is it's going to start adding the color from what we had before only to what you brush in. So uh, what I like to do is here is uh, start like by mass coloring over here and then you do the details with a smaller sized brush later. So you don't spend too much time on it but you do want to spend uh, obviously more time than I'm going to. See like I just messed up there. Control Alt Z to uh, uh, you know, go back and delete what you messed up on. So, this does take a while, so you're gonna, probably going to be here listening to me ramble on. No pun intended there. Uh, yeah. What I'm using is, uh, what brush am I using? I'm using a hard mechanical, uh, yeah, just a hard mechanical uh, brush here, because it's easier for getting the edges and whatnot, and uh, it's pretty cool, you know? It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, I'm not going to do this perfect. Obviously, you want to go along the edges here pretty slowly and make sure everything's really nice. And we'll be able to brush this up later when I show you how to invert the picture so the background has color and Jimmy Page doesn't. Let's get his sweet looking guitar here. That's a very awesome shade of red. You know, just going along, coloring in this guitar, our average day at the office. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, not really much to talk about here because uh, this is pretty much what this whole effect is all about, is just going around and coloring this in. And it's actually pretty easy to do. It's not as hard as much many people uh, think it is. Because there was like, Kevin, the, the Pleasantville slash Sin City effect is so hard, herp derp. And I'm not quoting Marty on that one because... Some people actually do think this is pretty hard. It's not, actually, once you take a closer look at it. 
And there are uh, other tutorials on how to do this, and it's they're pretty much the same way as I'm doing it right now, but this is just uh, generally uh, a well-known way on how to do it. There are other way ha other way there are there are other ways on how to do this, but this is just the way I do it, and I teach it. So don't go in the comments and telling me I can do other stuff to do this. I know that, but uh, yeah. So now it looks like we got most of the the bigger areas covered here with the color, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start detailing. So uh, I'm gonna take a smaller brush here. And to do that, you just uh, hit the bracket key on your keyboard, or you could uh, right-click on your mouse and select the diameter to perfect dimensions. Because I know you're all perfectionists, aren't you? Aren't ya? So you know, just a crazy guitar solo Jimmy Page is playing here. Regular day at the office. Oh, that was horrible. Control Alt Z. You don't you don't want to get outside. The, you want you don't want to color outside the lines, folks. It's just not that good. You always want to stay in the lines. Not saying that you can't. We are going to be able to go back and fix this up later here, but uh, yeah, it'll make your life a whole lot easier if you just stay within the lines here and you won't have to fix money you won't have to fix much stuff later you know so I know I'm probably taking longer than I should on this but details count Oops. Uh, I'm just gonna call that good for right now and I'll go back and touch that up when we invert it let's start his hair here And since Jimmy Page such, has such erratic hair, that's really epic and flying everywhere, uh, it might be a little more difficult than the regular person's hair. Because obviously Jimmy Page is a human. It's way too cool for that. Especially all these, uh, like, loose strands up here. You'll have to take a really sm tiny, tiny brush to do that. I have a feeling my example image is going to be better than this one, but just because I took much longer on that one than I did on this. But I ain't rushing for you guys. You should be. You should be watching this to learn. And learning is not a fast experience. If you ever go to school, you'll learn about that. Ironically. So, looks like I got most of the big hair co covered, so I'm going to go to a really small brush and click my Z tool, also my zoom tool, and click B to go back to my brush, <coughs> and click on a smaller bracket, just because these loose ends are very tiny, and just kind of fill them in. It's all about the color. Psychedelic, bro. <clears throat> Why do you have to have such loose hair, Jimmy Page? This is an elusive strand. You can barely see it when you're zoomed in, but when you zoom out, you'll be able to see it. You'll see it. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, zoom out here. We're gonna click our Z tool or our zoom tool, and we're gonna click uh, fit on screen. And as you can see, that looks pretty good, actually. Uh, you know, just because this is in such a high resolution, once you zoom out, you won't, you can't see many of the uh, uh, your many of your mistakes because it's a really big image. But uh, once you zoom in, you can. But as you know. People aren't going to be complaining about every little mistake you make if it's in a big resolution like this. 
So I'm just gonna say that's good for now. And what we're gonna try and we're, what we're what we're what, 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 what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna invert the image so that the background has color and Jimmy Page is colorless. And how we're gonna do that is very simply just click on your gradient layer and you do control I to invert it. And oh my god, Rob a plant has color and so do the lights in the background and Jimmy Page is colorless now. Whoa. So what you want to do now to detail uh, Jimmy Page up and make it look better is you want to uh, switch to your white layer because that's the opposite of black obviously or something like that and you want to zoom into any uh, like glow you have around Jimmy Page and you just want to uh, you know lightly color around it so you don't see any of the color emitting from him Hmm, I don't really like that actually. Just get it so the edge of your brush like slightly goes over what you're trying to color in. You don't want all of your brush up in its grill, you know? That's, I'm gonna say that's good for the guitar. This kinda is pretty bad a job I did, but whatever. And as you can see there's an epic red glow around him which I don't really want so I'm going to try and go around him like so and just kind of uh, give him a black outline uh, if you want to do a snapping feature by the way with your brush just uh, click anywhere on the screen and hold shift and go anywhere on the screen you would like and uh, click and that'll give you kind of like a line and sometimes that's more useful than just drawing freehand if you're pretty bad at that well, let's see how that's doing you know, I, I like that actually let's continue doing that back to our brush tool Details, 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 details. Fail. Okay, just get his uh, tuning tuners up here. It's base. It's it's pretty much only the out outline of everything that you're gonna need to detail up if you did a good job earlier. So it's not that big of a deal because in a in an image in an image this high of a resolution you're not going to notice much. But if you're editing a lower resolution picture, obviously you'll be able to uh, see more differences and mistakes you made. So, oh, see, like right there, I missed this whole spot. That could ruin my career in the business if I was in some kind of business, which I'm not. So, going back to a bigger brush to do these outlines. Just kind of quickly going over these, this outer glow he's got going on. His hair I'm not going to make too much of a deal about because I think I did that pretty well. See, there's another spot these little things you don't notice that could make or break it. Sorry if I'm not talking that much. I don't know. There's not much in stuff I can entertain you about. This is a learning environment, okay? See his pickup right there. Totally missed that too, and this little spot on his guitar. Oh my god. Okay. On this chord, we're going to use a really small brush because it's a pretty small part of the image, but still could affect the image value greatly. So.
Alright, that's looking pretty good. Just some small little finishing touches right there. And let's just, uh, oops. Let's zoom out here, see how that looks. And that looks pretty freaking sweet, I have to say myself. Except for this part of the hair, it could look a little better. But I'm not going to go ahead and fix that because I don't think I should really waste the time. <coughs> Even though the amount of time I spent talking there, I could have fixed it. So, um, if you want to add a Gaussian blur on Jimmy Page while he's the colored part, uh, you can. You just go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, Gaussian Blur, I don't know. And... You just set it. I wouldn't set it too high. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I'm just going to set it mine at 2.5. And as you can see, there's your Sin City effect. Or Pleasantville effect would probably be the more proper name of it. Because if it was Sin City, it'd be like crazy rainfall and blurring and blah, 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 blah. So, there you go. That's that. And... Thanks for watching. Give me some ideas. Give me money. I'll see you later.